Okay, so let's continue with the weapon switching uh, uh, part in Unity 3D. So we have finished with the machine gun, now it's time to add the rocket launcher. So let's make a new empty game object and let's rename it to rocket launcher. Okay, uh, let's add it as a child object of the weapons uh, game object. And over there, we're going to import the real object. So we'll go to objects. Uh, weapons, uh, rocket launcher. We're gonna add it as a child object to the rocket launcher object. And now position it like you did for the uh, machine gun. Same steps, but this time it's gonna be a little different. Uh, okay, so now we have done that. Uh, now we need to add the script to uh, change the behavior of the object. So, weapon scripts. We're gonna drag rocket launcher into that game object. Continue. Okay. Now we need to create a project projectile for the rocket launcher, which is the rocket. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go to objects, uh, rocket, drag it into the hierarchy view. But you cannot see it. Okay. What you can just do is just drag it into the scene view instead of the hierarchy view. Otherwise, this is gonna mess up. So I'm just going to position it properly. Okay, no need to position it. Just keep it like that so you can see the changes we're going to do. So we're going to add a couple of uh, things to this. First of all, we're going to add a box collider, which is to make this object solid. So game object, uh, wait, component, physics, uh, box collider, click add. And now you should have this rectangle green box surrounding the uh, rocket. So uh, if anything uh, impacts on the green box, something should happen or whatever. It should imp uh, like it becomes a solid. Let's say. Okay. So what else? Uh, let's add the script for the rocket. So here's the rocket script. We're just gonna drag it into the rocket object. It's in the weapon script folder, by the way. Um, and one important step component. Physics, oh wait, I, I forgot to click the rocket. Uh, component, physics, rigibody. Rigibody is like FX, oh it's already added. Okay, so you, you see rigibody here. Make sure it's clicked to use gravity. We need rigibody so that the uh, rocket launcher will allow the uh, rocket to be selected as a projectile. Because it needs a uh, object with a rigibody physics uh, component connected to it. So now this rocket has a rigid body uh, component added to it. So now we can easily uh, uh, add it as a projectile to the rocket launcher. So let's continue. Uh, now we need to add some particle effects or the smoke trail that will lead behind the rocket. So to do that, I'm going to go to get game object, create other particle system. Now this will be a child object of the rocket. Now you're going to position this exactly where the rocket is. Or wherever you, okay, basically just put it where the rocket is. Okay, there should do. Now you can see some uh, small particles. So let's change these values. So in the, uh, in the description you'll see the values you'll need to change over here in the preferences of the particle system. So I'm going to change them now. Okay, so now once I'm done changing the values, I'm just going to move the smoke again. Okay, that should do. Okay, so now this is what you should result, some really huge smoke. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, the mat uh, add a material to this because I don't like this white plain smoke. So in the project view, I'm going to search up smoke. Uh, you will see these two textures. One is smoke test and smoke puff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the rocket. Okay, uh, sorry. Yeah, rocket uh, particle system, which is the child object. Uh, now you see material uh, on the particle renderer on the materials. You should see this element. Now uh, that would be two materials over here: smoke and smoke. I'm going to select uh, this one, the second one. Make sure it's uh, the shader is particles. I did it. 
And once you do that, go back to particle system, go back to materials, and element zero, you're going to drag that material into there. And now, just take a look, your smoke should look much better. Okay? Now we need to save the changes by making a prefab. So let's create a new prefab. I'm just, oh yeah, assets, create, prefab. Now it should be gray. I'm going to just rename this to uh, rocket. And now I'm going to drag this whole rocket object into the prefab. So that you, now you have all the, ro uh, the rocket included in the prefab, including the settings, so that the next time you drag this prefab into the hierarchy view, let me show you. I'll add it in there. You have an exact duplicate of that rocket with the particle system and every setting still there. So that's what a uh, prefab is like. So I don't need that anymore. And we don't need this rocket anymore. I'll delete it. Now for the rocket launcher. I'm just going to click the, uh, wait a minute. Uh, Whoops, I've done a mistake. Uh, you're supposed to add the rocket launcher um, script to the empty game object rocket launcher. Okay, just make note, uh, you need to add the uh, rocket launcher script to the empty uh, rocket launcher game object. You have to add it there. My bad. So let's continue. Uh, the projector. You're going to copy that rocket prefab you just made. So I'm just going to drag it into the project variable. And that should be assigned. So let's test our new game. So let's test the machine gun. I can shoot the floor. Particles are there. To switch weapons, just press 2 for the rocket launcher. Let's shoot. Uh, hold on, that's weird. Oh yeah, there's one more thing. Like, when you shoot something, where's the explosion? You need an explosion, of course. So that's what we're going to set right now. We're going to set the explosion. So to assign the explosion, we're going to click that rocket uh, prefab again. Just go down to the rocket script. You see explosion. In the project view, type small. Explosion. You get this prefab small explosion, which is a ready-made explosion. Uh, okay, I have to click that rocket thing again. Okay, it's automatically there, selected for you. Uh, click that rocket. On the explosion, we're going to drag the small explosion prefab into the variable. Uh, go up and click apply. Actually, it's down. Okay, I think it's automatically applied. And let's test it. There you go, the explosions work. So now you have your rocket launcher ready with nice looking explosions, smoke, trails. And that's done for the multi-weapon uh, switching. So that's it. No, that's not really it for everything. Uh, next I'll show you how to add AI into your game and uh, hit points or damage or health to your character and uh, enemy. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why don't you subscribe for more? So thanks for watching and have a great day.